Hello guys, welcome to another Gym 360 workout and today we are going to absolutely tear it up by destroying, and I mean destroying, an upper body push workout. So what's that going to involve? Well today we've just decided to hit you up with one simple exercise, the king of body weight exercises, and that is a push. In this particular video I'm going to show you quite a few different variations that are going to hit your shoulders, your chest and your triceps. So deltoids, pecs and triceps are going to get absolutely and utterly mashed and destroyed from every possible angle. I hope you're ready to go because we're ready to go. I'm going to run through the list of exercises and then everybody at home get ready to tear it up. Right guys, as usual, this is on my phone and ready to go. Now we've been filming, as you can imagine, quite a lot the past few days. So it's gonna be hard for Ellie to get through this one. We've already done some resistance workout, upper body stuff already. So fingers crossed we get through. You guys may well be able to do more of these at home. You might be able to do less. Um, some of these exercises you might find difficult. What you can do with these is you can mix them up a little bit as well. We've made it, because we've done a lot of volume, we've made it so the harder press-ups are done at the start, just in case we start to fatigue as you go through. In terms of the first one that we're doing, which is a dive bomber, there's a, a couple of reasons why I really, really like this particular exercise. Because you start in a pike position, and you start to press down, your shoulders, particularly your anterior deltoid, gets a huge amount of load in this. As you're coming through the motion and your hips are starting to lower to the floor, your pecs are massively activated and then at the final stage of the movement, it effectively becomes almost a tricep only exercise. Your triceps are pressing really hard to bring your head back up. At the top of that motion, your hips are gonna be close to the floor. You're then gonna bring your hips back up and push all the way through, driving again through your shoulders and your triceps until you get back to your starting position. So starting with a pike press up, get into a pike position, hips up, try and lock your hips in place, and then you're gonna bend at the elbows, dip your head all the way through, push through, that's it, and then push your hips backwards, 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 and drive up. Right, okay, now start, try and bring your hips further back, elbow, and then push down, start to bend at the elbow, all the way through, push, 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 up. Nice, that was a much better rep. Drive your hips back, bend at the elbow, hips, push, 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 push. And again, let's go one more time. Go. Right guys, the next exercise that we're going to do is gonna be an explosive negative push-up. On these, you're gonna get into a normal press-up position you're gonna lower yourself to the floor really slowly. We're talking three, four, five seconds. That extra load and time and attention will really start to tear at your pecs and your tricep. At the bottom of the movement, you're going to try and drive yourself back up as fast and as hard as you can. So hard that your hands come off the floor. And then when you land and reconnect with the floor again, you're going to slowly lower yourself back down towards the floor before you repeat. And you're gonna do as many of these as you can. 10 is probably a good target to start with. The next exercise that we're doing is going to be a pike push-up. So again, this is gonna really load your um, front of your shoulder, your anterior deltoid, and it's also gonna hit your triceps quite hard. So let's move on, crack on with this one. I don't stand. I don't stand. Right guys, we're gonna move on to the next press-up variation, and this time we're going to do an archer press-up. So this involves having your hands nice and wide. It's slightly more isolateral because you're going to load your body weight over onto one arm, come back up, and then go to the opposite side and load the other arm. So rather than talking about it, let's demonstrate this one, get it out of the way. Right guys, next exercise variation of this press up is going to be a crab or a lateral press up with a diamond push up in the middle. So we're gonna have hands close together, two hands like this, diamond press up really hitting the tricep quite hard, squeezing the chest. You're then gonna come into a normal press up going laterally to one side, come back into the diamond and then back to the other side. So a little bit of movement in this, it's a bit more dynamic, 
It's gonna push you. Let's do it. We're moving on again and this time we're going to go and hit up a decline press up. So for this, you need to have your feet in an inclined position. And so you need to stick these. We're going to use a, a box, a plyometric box for this. At home, you could use a sofa, a table, a chair, the stairs, anything really that's going to raise your feet. If you're using a chair, remember to push it against the wall, particularly if it is on a uh, a slidey surface like um, a laminate floor or lino or something of that description. You don't want it sliding away from you doing a full face plant. That's pretty much it. Let's get ready to go. In this variation, we flip the box over. So now it's at its highest level with 30 inches high here. The higher you put your feet, the more this will load the shoulder and the front deltoid. So just again, different variations. You can mix this up at home using your feet at different levels of height. Next exercise that we're going to do in the mix of push-ups that we're doing and push-up variations is going to be a close grip, but not quite a diamond, but still a close grip push-up. So hands are going to be shoulder width apart and you're going to keep those elbows tucked to the side of your body throughout this push-up. That's really going to hit the tricep again and make sure that we're smashing the hell out of it. Let's get ready to do this one. Close to your side, that's good. Really smash those triceps, keep your core nice and tight. Keep working. Final exercise in this mix of tricep and chest and shoulder messed up push-up variations is going to be an inchworm. So this is going to be starting almost in a standing position and we're going to bend forward to the floor, put your hands on the floor, walk out into a press-up, do the press-up and keep your hips nice and high and come all the way back through. A little different variation. Some of you might call these walk into press-ups or inchworms, various different names for them. Either way, still the same exercise. Let's get ready to go. Final exercise, game time. Try and keep your legs almost straight, a slight bend in the leg, press up, push and walk back, 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 all the way up, and let's go again. If you don't want the rest period in between, you can of course not stand up, so you can just do the press up, come back up, keep your hands on the floor and walk straight back out again. Keep going. Keep going. Right guys, so we've now gone through all of these exercises and uh, obviously Elliot is definitely, definitely thoroughly warmed up. But what we're going to do is we're going to finish it off just by mixing up and choosing a couple of these and I'm just going to keep going until I've absolutely and utterly destroyed her. Go dummy, go beast on him. I go beast. Go deep, I OD on him. Apply pressure, put heat on him. Put that high zero, zero degrees on him. 500 degrees. Go dummy, go beast. Let's do some explosive negatives. So I'm going to give it another 10 seconds before we start. 10, 9, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Watch me demonstrate. On time, never late. I grind, celebrate. No pump fake, hesitate. I've been scoring every day. Champagne, Perrier. Since 9, 3, been in the box. Now I'm stepping up to home. Like straight out the sand lot. Now I'm plotting on the globe. <laughs> no. Um, what's next? Grip. What diamonds or I'll just narrow grip. Let's mix it up. Let's show people just that you can do a straight diamond without doing the lateral. So hands into a diamond position. We're gonna go for a diamond push up. Let's go now. Come on. So as you can see from above here, elbows are coming down tight to the side. Let's go. Really working your tricep quite hard. Keep going. Come on. Push. Push. Come on. Come on. Keep that core nice and tight. Don't let those hips sag. Let's go. Come on. More graft. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Somebody's in trouble. Come on. Thank you. Come on. Is that it? You've got no more? Come on, you must have some more in the time. Oh. 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 Oh.